this is a classic video of Tupac going back and forth with reporters outside of the Manhattan courthouse. I didn't do nothing. Everything comes in abrupt end when he's dragged away by this man, Randy Stretch Walker, a close friend of his, but also the man who produced and rapped the second verse of this classic. Now, 24 hours after this moment, Tupac would be ambushed and shot. The rapper would go on to blame many people for setting him up. But rather unexpectedly, that list would also include Stretch. Stretch pled his innocence. And this is where it gets spooky. After serving nine months in prison, Tupac was released on the 12th of October 1995. Seven weeks later, Stretch was shot and killed on the exact same day, an almost minute that Tupac had been shot the year before. Rap artist Randy there was Walker. never any evidence to support Tupac's claim of Stretch being involved. Well, that was until this man came forward 17 years later. Dexter Isaacs claimed Stretch had helped to orchestrate the hit. Who is he, you ask? He was one of the men who shot Tupac at Quad Studios.